I walked out Saturday to forget I was human for a while. recording and it's raining uh, dude if you're not enjoying this there's something wrong with you hey everybody welcome to the final episode of create together season two so over the last five weeks we've been collaborating with people all around the world to tell stories and make art around our theme for this season nature and if you've been with us from the start, then you'll know that we've been following the progress of a project called A Better World is Possible, which was inspired by the stories and experiences of people who've lived through natural disasters. Later on in this episode, we're gonna check in on that project one last time, and I'm excited to say, for our season finale, we will premiere the finished song and music video that we have all been making together. But before we do that, watch this. Okay, now, it's time for the final chapter of a story we've been telling since the start of the season. In our very first episode, a climate activist named Mitzi told us about the devastating typhoons that she experienced growing up in the Philippines. And that's just the reality of the climate crisis here in the Philippines. It, it's this constant fear of drowning in your own bedroom. Her story is heart-wrenching, but as she herself pointed out, the people of the Philippines are not alone in having their lives turned upside down by extreme weather events. I've experienced hurricanes, droughts, fires. Six tornadoes hit the Ottawa region in one day. I woke up to record cold temperatures. You would get frostbite very, very quickly. I even asked a NASA scientist, Dr. Dahlia Kirschbaum, if there was, in fact, a link between these extreme weather events and climate change. Over the past hundred years, humans have been emitting greenhouse gases, and that really serves as a blanket, and it really traps the heat in. And so this heat is building up and moving around in our atmosphere, and the disasters that are caused by these movements of heat are different. So Mitzi started a project, inviting artists around the world to come together and create an original song and music video inspired by these stories, and not only to amplify each story individually, but to underline this idea that we're all responsible for this planet, that this is ultimately everybody story. Music is such a powerful tool to move people and so I want to make a song and a music video based off of our collective experience of surviving natural disasters. Now the last time we checked in with the project Tinderlocks, a music producer in Australia, long time hit recorder, go Tinderlocks, he'd started incorporating the sounds of nature into the song. So I used a stomp sample of me just stomping on the ground and a sample of me standing on some gum tree bark and then I put that into my keyboard to give it a little bit more beef. So people around the world were going out into the environment where they lived and they were recording sounds of leaves and rivers and sticks and birds and things for Tinderlocks to remix together into a beat. Musicians built on top of that beat. Since then, singers came in and lent their voice and rappers have been drawing inspiration from the real stories of people who've experienced these natural disasters and writing lyrics and verses for the song. Hey world, my name is Christina. I'm currently in El Paso, but I am a New Yorker through and through. I heard Mitzi's call to action. There's a climate chant which goes, we are unstoppable, a better world is possible. Singers come and sing these lyrics. And I submitted a vocal contribution. We are unstoppable, a better world is possible. So hey, I'm Tim Buick. I'm a rapper from Queens, New York. I read Denise's story on Hit Record and that one resonated with me. In 2017, the Tubbs wildfire had jumped the freeway in Santa Rosa and was burning a local complex. We woke up around two in the morning. Within about 10 minutes, we were loaded up in our car and we left. We got about just a couple blocks from our house and then we were gridlocked in. We had to decide 
are we going to sit in the car and die? Or are we going to get out and try to outrun this wildfire, knowing full well you can't outrun this? You know, Denise uh, and her family, they lost their home, which is you know, extremely tragic. It's a dark memory for her. It's a dark memory for everybody that experienced something like this. Why do we take this seriously? Why are we talking about this? Because Denise could be you. Just imagining you being asleep and you wake up to some like that. It doesn't even have to be a wildfire. It could be a hurricane, it could be a tornado, it could be a tsunami. Whatever it is, it could be you. So I felt I would you know, try to do justice to her story and, and rhymes in this project here. And it was 2 a.m. and all these families jumping out their bed and fleeing for survival, but the streets were full of traffic. Everybody trapped, the flames approached, try not to panic. There's a million people out there that don't know about Denise's story. And I think the more that you can put that out there that this happens to people and there are things that we can do to prevent it or at least mitigate the damage, the better. Hi, my name's Nass and I'm from Toronto, Canada, and I contributed a really small part to this song. My lyrics are, Mother, we hear you, we see you, and we feel all your cries. Mother, we hear you, we see you, we feel all your cries. Hey y'all, I'm Trey Houston. I contributed a rap verse about flooding to this project because growing up on the Gulf Coast, that's the reality. Growing up, we went through a ton of hurricanes. Allison messed with our foundation. We had Ike take our fences. Harvey came through. We went through Katrina. We went through Rita. I lost my car to Tropical Storm Aaron. Hey, everybody. My name is Poeticon. I am from Virginia. In the area that I live, I don't have to worry about natural disasters very often. So for the song, I had to do a lot of research and just kind of learn what I could about the state of the environment and what were the biggest issues that we're facing right now. The half of the rainforest has all been cleared away. 400,000 trees are dying every single day. I started to find a lot of topics that were hard to swallow and became very passionate to me, but also the things that we can do to make change. So I tried to write about that. I'm really grateful for this project because it's opened my eyes to a lot of issues that I just was completely and totally oblivious to. Mitzi's message of uh, how a better world is possible, I think, has to resonate with whoever is listening to this. So that's why I wrote the hook, A Better World is in Sight. A better world's in sight. And I am down for the change because we need this today for the sake of all life. Because I really wanted to feel hopeful that anyone who is listening to this, if they're singing along, they could believe it, they could feel it, that they could be a part of that change and that it has to happen now. It has to be today. For me, it's, it's just been an amazing thing to watch how this project has grown and evolved over the last month or so. I always love seeing how something original can take shape from different people with different perspectives from all over. They come together and they collaborate to make something awesome. So thank you to Mitzi for sharing your story, starting this project. Thank you to everybody who contributed to Mitzi's project. And now, without any further ado, I am proud to present this song and music video. It's called A Better World Is In Sight. Watch this. Hey everyone, it's Mitzi here, and can I just say, I am so amazed by all the contributions that has come in. Every time I get a notification, it just makes my day, and I've been getting so many saying that new people have contributed, people have contributed across the world, and it's just absolutely mind-blowing. I'm about to watch the music video and the final song all put together for the first time. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna play it. I'm doing it. I'm gonna press play. Okay, let's go. It did used to flood all the way up to the third floor of houses. In Africa, Johannesburg, then an extreme drought. a record-breaking winter storm. I had no idea how much worse it was going to get. California, October 2017. A sea of flames engulfing everything you thought was ever green. From Calistoga down the mountain, across the freeway, it was spreading. It was 2 a.m. and all these families jumping out their bed and fleeing for survival. But the streets were full of traffic. Eight bodies trapped. The flames approached. Try not to panic. And they watch as anything they know falls and it crashes. And they make it out to safety, but their home was in ashes. 
From the science, we can confidently say that climate change is directly influencing the frequency, the intensity of heat waves, and that it increases extreme fires and also extreme flooding, and it's not going to stop. Yo, I've been through it. I mean that I've been through it. Watch my friend's homes flood. And everything's just ruins and my mama's home flood. And my daddy's has been too, and I'm just looking at the world. Like, I know it's new to you, but I climbed out of my car window at 18 and watched it floating away. It's just so Earth's evolutionary history is a slow and steady change. The seasons of the world are like the rhythm of the planet. Miraculous forms made and created like antiquity. Thriving and rich, full of vibe and chaos and mystery. It's complex and beautiful, but limitless. It's not the planet's hidden lands have fallen victim to a pot. Bursting with life with the rainforest that used to be. Millions of trees producing air for everyone to breathe. And the half of the rainforest has all been cleared away. 400,000 trees are dying every single day. As we push life to the brink, the planet pushes back. Extinction's no exaggeration, it's a simple fact. The impacts are happening now, but we understand it and we know how to fix things. A better world is in sight. A better world is in sight. And I'm down for the change because we need this today for the sake of all life. Could harness the solar power, the wind and the water matter. Hydro production of fruit and veg for consumption. Increasing no fish zones to a third of the oceans. Sustainable living is given back. What we're taking, replacing the trees. But the seeds reawaken. It's time to give back with human hands have impacted. I believe we can make it. This is how we save the planet. We are unstoppable. The world is possible. We are unstoppable. Possible. We can make decisions and advocate for change at the local level. We have to do it right now if we want to save Earth. That is the microphone for policymakers to start enacting real change at the national level. If there is anything that we can do about it to fix it, then we probably should. But we need to continue to be vigilant, to be educated. So I just hope what we can do is enough to ensure a safe world for future generations. Indeed is going to take a global community that starts at a very local level. A better world is in sight. And I'm down for the changes we need this today for the sake of all. We are unstoppable. A better world is possible. A better world is in sight. And I'm down for the changes we need this today for the sake of all. I'm speechless. <laughs> Thank you for everyone who contributed, really. It's, this is the world that we're fighting for. The world that comes together to create beautiful things. <laughs> it's amazing. Thank you. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is our show. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to YouTube Originals for all the support. But most of all, thank you to everybody who's been contributing and collaborating on everything we made together this season. We quite literally could not have made this show without you. I hope we've been able to show just a small glimpse of how incredible this planet of ours can be and how important it is that we look after it. And I hope we might have inspired you to do something creative as well. If we have, there are always open projects over on Hit Record just waiting for you to jump in. So we'd love for you to come check us out, collaborate with us, it's fun, I promise. Until next time, thanks again. Again, my heart.